Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So basically doing a video on how you guys can use a Bluetooth controller to control your head unit and at the same time showing you a video of how you can use your controller to play games on your head unit. So with this controller, um, the way I've set up is I've got a adapter that's connected up to one of the USB ports on the head unit and then it um, talks to the controller so that's the way it works you can use other controllers you don't need that adapter you can use a ps4 controller or also a um, xbox controller but obviously you have to configure yourself etc to make it work well with this controller it's got different functionality you can use on android windows xbox and also multimedia center if you have one so with this one the adapter is already connected up all i need to do is turn it on and it's on the Android setup. So if I just, you can see here, uh, the little tab is moving around so I can control it from here. So the main purpose of this video is to show you how to configure your controller so you guys can play games. So what I've done is I've already got a emulator set up. So there's different emulators. I've got Classic Boy, Game Boy Advance one. So on the Classic Boy, I don't, the reason why I don't use this one as much, but I use this for demo purposes, you can't save your games, but it's got different game consoles that you can um, play with, which is good, whereas this one is just dedicated to Game Boy Advance. So what I'm going to do is download a Game Boy Advance game on download GTA. So what you want to do is type in GTA from press enter. And then what I'm going to do is just go to one of these um, links hopefully i'm able to download so i'll go to here uh, download it from this site continue with cookies so that's done what you want to do is go back and then you want to open your emulator so i'm going to download open um game boy advance cross that out and that's that don't care about that let me see if it finds it. So it's just doing all of that stuff. Let's go back one. That's what happens when you buy get free emulators, free apps. They're full of apps. Do a search. So now it's found two games, and there you go. There's Game Boy Fun. And there you go. There you, there you have it. So it's games working fine. And then what you want to do is you've got these buttons and stuff that you need to set up with your controller. So I'll show you how to do that. Let me see if it's already set up because I've done it previously with my Pokemon. So it's working fine. As you can see, I'm using my controller. So what you're going to do now is if you haven't already set up your controller, you want to do that first because these buttons need mapping to the buttons on the, um, on the game. So what you want to do is go into your settings Every emulator is going to have it a little bit different, but in here, what you want to do is go into, um, where is the controller? Go to setting, gamepad settings. I've already got this set up, so what I'm going to do is just go here, edit, and then you can see here, I've given my uh, profile a name called gamepad, and then this is the UniPlay um, controller. Button A, all you do is go here, and then you map it, so A is that. B is B, L1 is L1, R is R1, select, blah blah, you do all of that stuff and settle everything up and once you're done, it's all mapped. New game, empty slot, A, 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 press start. There you go, it's all working fine. What I'll do now is just play other games, really. So, as you can see, it's all working fine. It's quite nice people out there. What I'll do now is quickly give you a montage because I don't want to go through all the different um, things that you can do. So, here you go, it's working. Let's put the volume up. Mm -hmm. 